Hey guys, John from flyatmikealpha.com, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to brief up a visual approach. And you may think, well, if we're doing a visual approach, what do we need an approach plate for? It's still important to brief what you're gonna be doing when you get to your destination. Just because the weather's great doesn't mean you should let your guard down and proceed to an airport without a plan. So when you're in your in route environment, get ready to get into the terminal environment and brief up the plate. It's a little bit more abbreviated, it's pretty quick and easy, but definitely a good way to get yourself familiar before you actually get to your airport. So for starters, we're gonna start as we normally would up in the top right. Our nav GPS runway 31 was the expected approach. It's visual now. Venice Municipal Airport, VNC, valid 5th of January, 2017 to the 2nd of February, 2017. Checks with your safety pilot, great. Or just checks with yourself that you know it's valid. That's cool too if you're flying solo. Final approach course inbound, 320, runway landing available, 5,000 feet, touchdowns on elevation 16, airport elevation 18 feet, and our expected traffic pattern will be 1020. We'll brief what kind of traffic pattern we expect to fly, figuring that we're gonna be coming in from the southeast and probably cleared direct to Anlu, maybe, and then uh, handed off from uh, approach over to CTAF. Then we'll uh, expect to just make a straight in approach, or we could say, hey, we're gonna stay at 1500 feet, overfly the field, come back around, and descend down to 1020, enter the left downwind runway 31 on a 45 degree angle, and then fly the traffic pattern in. Whichever one works, just make sure you brief what you plan to do, especially if you're flying with someone else. Even if you're flying solo, brief yourself. Keep yourself ahead of the airplane. After you brief your traffic pattern entry, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and brief what's gonna happen if you have to go missed. I know the weather's great, you're probably not gonna have to go miss for weather, but what if somebody pulls out in front of you? What if there's a coyote on the runway or something and you have to go around? Well, have a game plan. So just stick with the game plan that this thing gave you. It's designed to keep you safe, designed to keep you from hitting anything when you can't see. So better just to follow it even when you can see. So let's go straight ahead 2000 feet and direct Favta and then maybe come back around uh, and try the approach again. We don't have to go all the way to Favta, but let's just go straight ahead to 2000 feet. That should keep us safe. One extra thing I like to brief there is kind of like an MSA, and we don't have a specific MSA here, but we do have this TAA down here, and as long as we stay within 15 miles of LAIC, 2,000 feet is plenty good for us, so we'll just stay semi-close to the airport and maintain 2,000 feet, and then just send back down visually when we can, back down the traffic pattern. After the missed approach brief, then we'll talk about our approach lighting and uh, runway lighting that we've got. So we've got mirror, medium intensity runway lighting on runway 31, and we have ODALs uh, for our approach lighting system with a PAPI on the left. So especially important to brief that if it is uh, dusk or dawn or nighttime and you're shooting a visual approach. After your runway lighting, then go ahead and brief um, the planned route of taxi. And you could even, uh, since you're looking at it, you know, reiterate the landing distance available. 5,000 foot runway, Great, we'll touch down 1,000 foot markers. Or hey, it's a 2,000 foot runway, we might wanna get down a little before the 1,000 foot marker, not halfway down the runway. Um, so that's a good time to reiterate that. And then your plan to route taxi. We'll just taxi straight off the end, make a right turn, and taxi via Alpha to parking. Now you could pull up a taxiway diagram. We unfortunately don't have one for Venice since it's a non-towered airport, but uh, you could just look at this diagram and kind of brief, all right, we'll expect to make a right turn and taxi to parking, that way follow any signs um, that we have. All right, so let's run through that from the top. Uh, just hit all our key points as you normally would in a normal flow. We're doing the RNAV GPS runway 31 Venice visual approach, and that's KVNC. Plates valid 5th of January 2017 to the 2nd of February 2017. That checks. Final approach course inbound 320. Runway landing available 5,000 feet. Touchdown zone elevation 16 feet. Airport elevation 18 feet. Our traffic pattern altitude will expect 1020. We're coming in from the southeast, we'll probably expect to direct Laic or direct Anlu, and then we'll just shoot a straight in approach to runway 31. We'll be looking for Odals and Pappy on the left with mural runway lights. And if we have to go mist, it'll be straight ahead 2,000 feet, staying, trying to stay within 15 miles of Laic, and then come back around for the approach again. Assuming we land, on runway 31, it's 5,000 feet long. We'll just roll out, taxi off the end, make a right turn, and taxi into parking via Alpha. Any questions? That basically covers everything that you want to cover on your visual approach. Now you and your safety pilot are on the same page, or at least you're brought up speed and you're thinking ahead of the airplane if you're flying solo, of what to do when you get to the airport, 
what kind of distances you have to work with, and what are you going to do if you have to go missed. Always have that game plan. Even when you're flying VFR, you should have it, but especially if you're flying IFR, and even when you're flying a visual approach under your instrument flight rules. So hopefully that was helpful. Really hope you take this tip and always brief up the approach, visual or solid IMC, whichever way it's going to be, brief it, get on the same page, get yourself ahead of the airplane. If you have any other comments you'd like to add, any other tips that you like to brief on your visual approaches, throw it in the comments below. We'll talk about it. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, like our video, subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest episodes. Check out our Patreon page. Support us if you'd like. We'd really appreciate it. And as always, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.